today I'm in the mood for uh, messing around with an array. Uh, I'm going to use a C++, uh, but most of the work will be more kind of like C type, but I'll just use C++ for this. Anyway, uh, if you are given a question, uh, like if you're given an array, say of one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then they tell you to reverse this, how would you go about it? Uh, meaning you're gonna get nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one as the result. All right, so we're, we're gonna be doing this uh, today. And uh, let me uh, make the screen bigger. All right, so I'll leave that on there. Um, I'm gonna import in uh, the IO stream, you know, the standard input uh, output um, library for C++, for C that's standard IO. And instead of uh, doing things like uh, SD, C out, instead of doing things like this, I'm gonna just uh, use a namespace for that. And then I'll just be able to call like uh, C out or any other methods, but in this uh, project, I'm just gonna use uh, CL, nothing else. All right, now I'm gonna initi initialize the main function. Uh, obviously, you can pass in arguments there, but it's gonna be void for this. Uh, now return uh, uh, zero. That's gonna terminate the program. All right, now let's, start, let's create an array here. So I'm gonna say an array of ints, and uh, we already have them there. I'll just copy them there and put them in there. But in order to help me out, I'm gonna kind of like instead of doing a follow up for this, I'll just create a function called a print array, and I'll pass it in the array and also the length of the array. Uh, obviously, I'm going to make this function, uh, but before that, C++, I could have used uh, vectors or just the array uh, library, but I'm just going to use the C style of finding the length of this, uh, which you get by just getting the size of the array, all of it, and you divide that by the size of the first element of the array. But in this case, I know it's integer, so I'll just use the int for that. All right, uh, now let's uh, make this function. Uh, the function returns nothing. And it's gonna accept an array of ints. I can put a pointer there. Actually, let me just put a pointer there. Ah, I'll, I'll do the pointer for the next thing, but it's the same thing. And I'll pass in the length. And I'm gonna print this array kind of like this to where you have like uh, open square brackets, then the elements in there, and then you close it out. And then the last element doesn't have a comma, but all of them have the comma in there. Uh, I'm gonna do that by doing this. I'll first uh, see out the opening square brackets, and then I'll just see out the closing square brackets to in admons. Then I'm gonna loop through the array. And as I loop through the array, I'm gonna be printing out the the elements. I'll see out the elements in the array. But I want the commas that I showed you earlier. 
So I'm just going to use an if statement, which will say if the length is less than the length minus one, I'm going to put that extra command space. Otherwise, it's just going to uh, close it out. All right, let's test this. We'll test it out before we start reversing the array. I'm going to it's C++, so I'm going to use uh, G++. And I'll just output the uh, reverse for now. It's obviously <laughs> C++. Am I in the wrong order? Oh, it is in question two. All right, now I can run that. All right, and then I can run the program itself reversed. And I should get, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten there. And this, the last one, the closing one there, I'm going to put like a, a line ending there so that when I run this again, it's going to print on the new line. All right. Now, since we have the printing function, now let's reverse this uh, array. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just initialize i to z zero, and then I'll also initialize j to the end, the last index, which is the length minus one. And then I'll be moving i from, so i will be going this way, and uh, j will be going the other way, and then I'm going to meet. So I'll just use a while loop for that. And whenever they meet, if it's old numbers, they, they're the same. But if it's even, they're just going to swap. They'll, like, it's going to be like right there. So this is going to work. If I just do while i and j, while i is less than j, I'll just swap it up, pass it in the array and passing in the i and j indexes. So I'll just be swapping those indexes. And then I'm gonna be increasing i plus plus, and then I'll be decreasing j minus minus. And then at the end of the day, I need to print the array again by here to be reversed. Here's the original one. All right. And then as you can see, we have to implement the swap. Uh, the swap, swap function, I'll just write it there. And uh, this is the part where I was saying earlier, I just passed in the array, but this time I'll pass in the pointer for that. Both are gonna work. Uh, but to make it like more generic, I'll just do left int and the right int. And then I'll be swapping the, the left and the right indices. I'll start with a temporary variable, which is going to so whatever is in the left on the left index. And then I'm going to make the left index equal to what's on the right index. And then I'll finally make what was on the right equal to what was on the left. And what was on the left is in the temp array. All right. So let's see if this works. I made a mistake here. So what's on the left? Like, 
you store what's on the left in the temp, then you replace the spot on the left with what was on the right, and then you change what was on the right to the temp. And as you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 10, nine, eight, see? And even the commas are working and the uh, square brackets are working. And uh, just to go through it again. So this is just a print function. You don't need it. What you need is the swap and an array. Uh, the array, I'm using the C style of getting the length by getting the size of the array. Uh, dividing it by the size of an int. I can also use an uh, array index of zero, which is the total divided by one element. That's gonna give me the length. And then this is just a help function. And then I'm starting initializing i from zero, and then j, uh, the size of the array. And then I'm checking, like while i is less than j, and i is increasing and j is reducing. I'm swapping them. And at the end of the day, I also use the print array uh, utility function, and this terminates the, uh, the whole function. This was pretty cool.